We'll go ahead and uh, make a motion to chairman. Uh, go ahead and instruct the uh, our county attorney, Mr. Plating, to go ahead and draft a letter. And go ahead and have the board review the letter at a special meeting before the week is out. Chair can call for a special meeting before the week is out, and I think time's at the essence. So then we'll go ahead and uh, move that forward as my motion. Okay, there's a motion, uh, Mr. Weller, that you uh, hear. Uh, Supervisor Short, do you have to say? Okay, uh, I need a second. Oh, okay, you did second the motion, right, uh, Mr. Weller? Okay, with that, uh, uh, your question. for you, Mr. Weller, you know, my understanding is you wrote a letter to the liquor license, you know, I think, you know, you should have notified their county manager to bring it before the board rather than you write the letter. Now that we want to get a letter out, now you're asking for a copy of it, you know, you should have given us that same, you know, uh, respect for, for the board, so. weight carry in the decision that's going to be made are individuals who live within a one mile radius of where these uh, of where this alcohol establishment is and our office has drawn out uh, a map that shows that obviously as you can see very few people live within this one mile radius if you look at the Lee's liquor store there's nobody that actually lives in this area the land status then becomes an issue with respect to these individuals who own uh, are managed this area. We know that O'Neill also has interest in this land. We know that the Navajo Nation and that the uh, uh, that our board supervisors here would also have interest in with respect to making a statement about the liquor license. We also learned yesterday that anyone who submits any comments has to have a physical address. As you know, Navajo Nation does not have any rule addressing and that P.O. box numbers will not suffice, and that if you submit a comment on a P.O. box number, that will be disregarded. So unfortunately for this group, who's worked really diligently recently, there's going to be another effort to go back and try to identify physical residents of all these individuals who have already submitted a comment on, this, on these licenses. Our recommendation, we have a Navajo Nation Human Rights Commission meeting this coming Friday, and we are going to recommend to our commissioners that they also oppose the um, renewal of this license or the sale of this license. We certainly don't want this uh, license to be <coughs> sold to another entity that is within the borders of these areas that have brought a lot of um, discord 
to the Navajo Nation. Uh, obviously, there are a lot of those are the two procedural issues that we are very concerned with. Um, the Navajo Nation, on behalf of the Navajo Human Rights Commission, um, we thank you for giving us this opportunity to voice our um, concerns with respect to the um, Red Barn, the U.S. and High Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, good luck. Sure, Your comment, Mr. Weller. Okay, we'll go ahead and take the boat down. Hey, oh. hey, hey. Okay, come on to the front and give your name for the record, please. Uh, my name is Maureen Whitman. I'm Maureen Whitman. I'm originally from Clangatoa Chapter, and I'm the um, legislative district assistant to Lorenzo Curley, who we can't make it today because of um, some illness. Um, but uh, he does fully support our efforts and um, he's been advocating for us as much as he can. Um, from my point of view, I, I'm going to say it from um, three perspectives. I'm a community member of Clagato Chapter. I'm also um, a Navajo Nation employee. Not only that, I'm also a day minister of Clagato Shelter Mission. And I've, um, from what I see, this vicinity that they're talking about, I'm really disappointed because it doesn't only affect that one mile. Um, the liquor goes all the way out to Chinle, everywhere. And I think we need to really emphasize on that because this protest is is for inner city. Inner city, within one mile radius, you have people. But within a rural community, it's spread out. Um, and I'm really disappointed that this was said, uh, it was said in that, way, in that manner. Um, but from my point of view, I've seen a lot there in, in Sanders area. I have went to school there, seen it all my life. And also, as an employee with the Sanders Unified School District, I have students with higher students in my classroom. I have students that, when I serve, were escorted out because they were intoxicated. Or when Mr. Honshaw was there, they, they came in and and swept the, 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 the school. And we saw a lot of things going on. And, and, and then we have students being carried through there, young children coming through the, the, um, the byway by Red Barn and seeing that it's okay to be intoxicated and walking around there and, and, and so forth. And seeing that, um, I think we need to address it in that manner. Also, um, I think the voices of our people should be heard from all the communities, not just from uh, the rural area of Sanders and um, the Hadatsi. It is affected all over to, to the other communities, even up to Hout, Lupton, and, and so forth. And I think those people need to be heard. Um, we have family members like the one she's talking about. Um, the, 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 the young man that got butchered was originally from White Rooms. And so we have to see that perspective, from that perspective that these people are affected not only in that one mile radius and and i just hope that the liquor board will um, see that that we're, we're not um the napa nation is not um like cities that we're more in a rural country a rural community um, i hope you support us and um I've worked with you in Kanto, Kanto chapter as a community service coordinator for so many years, and you complimented me. I remember that when you came into my office, so <laughs> and of course I you say um, and thank you for you guys listening to me. And if you put in a comment I, to to the to, to the Arizona Liquor Board, I appreciate it very much. Um, some of you go out to the communities, you see, you, you've seen it, what's going on. Some of you experience it in your home. For me, 